after losing the, the first weekend to, to get a rubber match game on Sunday and, and take a series win, knowing that you got a, a tough schedule coming up as well? Well, I think it's huge. I mean, anytime you get a series win against a quality opponent, I think that's big. Um, and it, it just kind of keeps us going a little bit. I mean, now we've, what's that, four out of five after we dropped the first two of the season. And so I think we're starting to play better. Um, you know, the ninth inning last night was standing. Uh, but I'm, I'm pleased with how they came out. I mean, we're showing that we can win a variety of games, that we don't have to score six to win, and we won two to one. I thought Wheatley was really good today. Um, it looked like he had good velocity, and um, he was able to keep him off balance. And I thought we played good defense, and we scratched out just enough because Lowbridge pitched really well. Uh, he just, you know, it wasn't big velocity. It's just the ball moves a ton. And, um, and it, we were going to have to grind it out. And, you know, we could have felt sorry for ourselves after we didn't get the safety down, and then we didn't get the squeeze down, and then we ran our, you know, so we get it out of the inning. But then Frankie comes up his very next at bat and gets a base hit to tie the game. And then, you know, Reggie hasn't played all weekend, and he comes in and steals a huge bag and moves to third and then scores on a wild pitch. So it was big. I mean, this is a team win. I mean, where everybody's into it, you know, you. We talk about out energizing the other team on Sunday. You know, you just have to have energy and hope that it's positive and it kind of breeds the success. And so the fact that we've won the last two Sundays, I think, is big um, because Sunday's that kind of swing day for us, right? I mean, if you're 0 2 and you win, you salvage the weekend. If you're 2 0, you sweep the weekend. If you're 1 1, you win the series. And so it's a, we, may, we put a high priority on that Sunday game. As well, you know, as much as we do any other game, but Sunday's a big day for us, and, and for us to come out and play well and, and do well, I think that bodes well down the stretch. Is that part of the reason why you switched Brent to Sunday, flipped him uh, and Bernardo this week from Saturday to Sunday? Well, there's a combination of a couple things. One is I think that there's a, you know, when Davis throws and Brent throws and it's right, right, and then left. Now, Bernardo throws really hard, so it can be a little bit different anyway, but having him in between them, kind of where they sandwich them, just gives the team a different look, and they can't kind of keep the same lineup throughout the weekend, possibly, if they make switches. And that's what happened this weekend, right? I mean, they had to make some switches yesterday. We had one bad inning. We had really two bad innings the whole weekend and gave up four in the one inning Friday, or three on Friday, one inning, and then we gave up four yesterday in one inning. And Without those two innings, I mean, I thought it was a really good weekend. And one guy that got on basically three times, I mean, there weren't a lot of hits and not, not a lot of runners today from either side, but, but David Oppenheim gets on base three times for you, two for three. Um, how has he kind of taken to that number two role uh, in the lineup? Because coming in the season, that was the big question, who's going to bat lead off and who's going to bat second after? Uh, well, we like Opp in the two hole. Um, one, he does have a little bit of thunder. So he has the ability to run the ball in the yard, but that's not what we want him to do. He can take pitches, he can work counts, he can hit behind runners, he can do a lot of different things offensively, which helps us. Um, he can skill. And, um, and so it just gives us another guy who can get on base because I think I told you before the season started, we're looking to see who those top of the order are, guys are that can get to Jeremy, Timmy, Dylan, those guys down the lineup, AJ. And so we're just trying to get our flow of the lineup you know, we struggled with that, obviously, that first weekend. It was like, how do you line up one for fours? So they all match up. They all get their hit the same inning. And um, and now we're starting to see more guys are getting on base. Now now we just got to drive them home. Last two days we left 29 guys on base. So um, I, w I think that up in the two-hole gives us some stability there. Lars has been good at the top of the order. He didn't have a great weekend after Friday. But, um, but he's been playing really well, and so we just need to keep that going. But it gives us a little bit of speed, a little bit of physicality at the top, and um, getting those guys to come up more and more. So it gives us more of a middle of the order, kind of in the middle or at the top, but guys who can run a little bit.